Hey guys, how's it going? So I've been reading on the forums and Reddit that it's difficult to stream Call of Duty Modern Warfare for some reason. If you're trying to record the screen in OBS or something like NDI Scan Converter, you might find this problem where the stream will just randomly stop and you won't get any notification that a problem has happened. Now I've been reading on the OBS bug tracker and they actually have something uh, along these lines. So this bug here, you can go to this URL if you want to read this, but I'll just read out the description now. It says, at seemingly random times, the new NVN encoder will fail with the error. And then here's the error. When this happens, there is no notification to the user that anything has gone wrong. Output simply stops. So if that sounds like you uh, for Call of Duty Modern Warfare, um, I might have a potential fix. So I've tried this for a, a couple of minutes on a, on a match of uh, MW gunfight and it seemed to work. So it says here, the crash appears to happen in high GPU load scenarios. It may be a potential out of VRAM condition. Now this got me thinking about previous Call of Duty games where you could change the amount of video memory that the, the game was using through a, a configuration uh, variable. And this was present on Black Ops 4 and Black Ops 3 and uh, yeah, the, some of the previous uh, Call of Duty games. So if you want to read this uh, a bit more, there's some more comments about this uh, and some more bug reports. But basically, what you want to try and do is reduce the amount of memory, uh, video memory that Call of Duty Modern Warfare is using. Now you can do this by just trying to uh, limit the video options that you're using. So maybe turn down anti-aliasing or turn off the ray tracing or turn down the resolution. Uh, things like this will reduce the amount of video memory that you're using. But there is kind of a hard limit in, in Modern Warfare and, and these previous Call of Duty games as well. And you can access that hard limit by going into the players folder in Call of Duty Modern Warfare. So if you find your Windows user profile in the documents folder, uh, there will be a folder there called Call of Duty Modern Warfare. And then in there, there will be a folder called Players. And in that one, uh, there is a INI file which you can go into and it looks like this. Uh, and by default, your video memory scale will be set to 0 0.9. So that is the amount of video memory that the game can use. Now, Black Ops 4 was set to a default of something like 0 0.95. So that was quite high. It was using most of your video memory, 95% of it. And this game, it has it set at 0 0.9. So that's 90% of your video memory. Uh, if you have a, a an 11 gigabyte graphics card, so that'll be using about, uh, you know, most of that 10 gigabytes almost. So what I try to do here is I've turned down the video memory scale to 0 0.75 and as I said before, it's worked for me streaming uh, one match of gunfight so far. So it, it worked okay recording that, but uh, I actually want to uh, make, I wanted to make this video so more people would know about this and, and test out if my theory was, was correct and see if you could start streaming uh, Modern Warfare for, for longer times and uh, make sure this is stable. Now, uh, there's a possibility that this file might get overwritten uh, later on. So you can do the, the usual Windows trick of making it read only here. Uh, and then that file won't get overwritten. But just be aware of that. If there's any new patches or any new um, variables that get added by Infinity Ward, they might put them in here. So I hope that helps and, and maybe even fixes the problem. Um, but at least let's spread some awareness about this issue and maybe try and get Infinity Ward to fix it on their end. Hope this video has been useful and I'll see you guys next time.